Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I am going to be using the Glam Light and Strawberry Shortcake collection. I am super excited. I know this is totally late. It took a really long time for it to get to me and then I was sick for a while. So I'm finally just getting to trying out the products, <laughs> but the collection looked absolutely adorable. I bought everything in the collection. They had a really good deal during Black Friday weekend and I couldn't resist it. If you enjoy this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would consider subscribing before you leave. Okay, so let's go over everything in the collection really quick. I'm going to use everything except the sponge. Let's just start with the sponge because come on, the Berry Bounce Makeup Sponge. It is literally a strawberry. It retails for $8. And there's two reasons I'm not going to use it. The first reason is it's so, so cute. And I'm weird like that. I have a couple of sponges actually that are like limited edition cute sponges that I won't use. And this is one of them. Like so adorable. The other reason I'm not going to use this is because it's very, very stiff. Like really hard that I don't think I would love this for makeup application personally. Of course, it's not wet, so I don't know for sure, but just like feeling it, I can kind of tell. But how adorable is the sponge? I am going to just put it right back in the box. The sponge is still available. I bought like the entire collection as a bundle and the whole collection as a bundle is no longer available, but most of the things individually are still available. And then of course, the thing that I'm the most excited about is the eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like. The palette like cardboard box looks exactly the same as the cover. It's called the Berrylicious palette. It does retail for $32, which I think is really reasonable. And then on the inside, this is what it looks like. Oof, looks absolutely stunning. These shimmers look so sparkly. Now I have only ever used Glam Light once before. I bought one of their cocktail collection palettes. I got the Dirty Martini one, the green one. So I like that palette. It's been a really long time, honestly, since I've even used it. So these look so beautiful. I'm so excited to try this out. Also have not watched anybody's review of this collection because when I review a collection, I want my own thoughts. Like I don't wanna be influenced. <laughs> the next thing that I'm super excited to try is the blush. It's just called the Strawberry Shortcake X Glam Light Blush. It is not available anymore, but it was $14. It's sold out. And this is what it looks like just without the cardboard. And then on the actual pan of the blush, she is embossed in there. How adorable is that? And it is a bright pink, cool tone blush, which is like the it color for blush. I do already have a blush in this color, but I love blush, so. So we'll try that out. We also have a lip set. So there's a bullet lipstick and a gloss. The packaging on this collection is so, so good. So she's here and then her cat is here and they've got this ombre effect and it is like a bright pink uh, lipstick. I have not even swatched this. I'm gonna swatch it right now. So it's definitely very pink, which is not my go not my go-to, but that's okay. We'll try it out anyway. Doesn't have a scent, it smells like lipstick. <laughs> Packaging is so cute. I know I already said that, but just in case you forgot. <laughs> and then this is the lip gloss. Looks so cute with the strawberry print. This one has a little more red to it. I don't smell any smell, but the gloss is definitely tinted, you can tell. It's not one of those that's gonna show up clear. It definitely has like a reddish pink tint to it. You have to buy the lip products together and they retail for $15. And then last but not least, we have the Strawberry Shortcake X Glam Light Berry Long Lashes. $12 is what they retail for. They look very dramatic. I'm excited. I love lashes. I wear them all the time. I've never personally tried any of Glam Life lashes before, so I'm excited to try these out. They look very fluffy and very long, so... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Strawberry Shortcake was a little before my time. I was born in 86 and I feel like Strawberry Shortcake was like early 80s, but I do of course remember her like as a character on like backpacks and stuff like that, but I never actually watched the show that she was on. But still, I thought this collection was so adorable. I just had to pick it up. So let's start off with the eye look. I have already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have to use this sparkly shimmer. 
Like that is my goal, this one. They don't have names, I don't think, no. This one up here looks very sparkly. It looks like a pink with like a bluish purple reflect. So maybe we'll do like pink and red up top and then some green on the bottom. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I have not even swatched this palette when you're watching this. I usually do the swatches after I do my look. So I'm not even sure what the situation is here, but this is a very bright pink. I'm just gonna put this in the crease area. I'm gonna start pretty light. I don't want this to get too out of control too quickly. I'd rather be able to just build it. And I always take a risk doing my face makeup first because I don't know if there's gonna be fallout with this or not. I'm not super familiar with Glamolite's formula, but we're living on the edge today. Beautiful, No, looks pretty good to me. That was pretty darn easy to use. I don't really have any complaints. By the way, everything else that I have on my face, I will link down in the description box below as well as everything in the collection. I always put as much information as I can in the description box. And you'll have to let me know if you picked up this collection or not, I'm, I'm curious. So I'm gonna take this smaller fluffy brush from Natasha Denona and I'm gonna go into, I wanna go into this shade, this more like berry, little deeper berry shade. Has a little strawberry on it. Wow, a lot of shadow picks up on the brush. And I'm just gonna place this in the out. Wow, look at that, holy moly. Wow. Just kind of stamping it where I want it first. Wow, that's extremely pigmented. All right, those mattes are so pigmented. It's almost like they're almost too pigmented. <laughs> I had to spend quite a long time blending this and I'm not even sure that it looks that great, but that's okay. We're gonna just move on as if it is. I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Pro, actually, before I do that, let me, I do wanna use that sparkly one. I'm not sure if it's more of like a topper shade, so let me just swatch it on my finger. <sighs> oh my. That is gorgeous. It's not like completely see-through, but it definitely doesn't have a super strong base to it. Maybe I'll put this more in like the inner portion of my eye and I'm gonna put something more to bridge to the matte that's on my outer corner first. Maybe I'll use this one down here that matches that more berry colored matte that I have on my outer corner. Yeah, this looks really pretty. This looks more just like a, a standard metallic. So I'm gonna put down the NYX Glitter Primer first all over my lid. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of layer it over. Yeah, it pretty much matches exactly to that matte that I have on my outer corner, which is perfect. And I'm gonna put that about, it's about halfway. That's really pretty, I like that a lot. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna take that ultra sparkly shade now. I'm gonna put that on the rest of the inner part of my lid. I'm gonna start with my finger, I have nails on, so I don't know how close I'm gonna be able to get. If I need to grab a brush, I will. And I'm basically layering that also over that metallic. Ooh, that is so pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna get a brush just so I can get a little more precise. Now there's definitely a lot of loose glitter particles and actually when I run my finger over the top, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell, I've kind of rubbed off the top layer. So I don't know if like once I break through that top layer, there'll be less glitter. But kind of my point is, you definitely wanna either do your eyes first. <laughs> don't take the example from me or you wanna put down a glitter primer or wet your brush just to be able to like really catch that glitter. All right, let's go into the lower lash line. So I feel like I wanna do some of the green just so I can look like a little strawberry. 
you know? I'm gonna start off with the darker green matte and I'm gonna get a really tiny little brush. I'm gonna push this up against my lower lash line and I think I'm gonna go all the way from outer to inner corner. Actually, I lied, I'm gonna go about halfway because I might put another shimmer shade in the inner part of my lower lash line. That's nice, that's a really dark green. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this slightly lighter matte green and I'm just gonna smudge out that first green that I put on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a slightly fluffier brush and take that same second green shade I did. I'm just gonna smoke it out even more. It's fun because this palette can double as a Valentine's Day palette and a St. Patrick's Day palette, right? Perfect timing. I'm gonna take a tiny little brush and I'm gonna pick up, which one do I wanna use? Maybe this, this, ooh, that's a duochrome. Ooh, maybe I'm gonna try this shade right here. I'm gonna pick it up on this little brush. I bet this one all over the lid would be really pretty because it looks like it's a duochrome or a multi-chrome or something. And I'm gonna spray it. And I'm gonna place this in the lower part of my lower lash line or the inner part of my lower lash line, I should say. Just adds a little something something. Think I got some in my eyes. I feel like a cute little strawberry. All right, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna put on liner and I'm gonna pop on the lashes and I will come back and show you what I look like with them on. Okay, so I'm back. I put on the lashes. They are quite dramatic for me personally. <laughs> More dramatic than I go for, but they're still pretty and they weren't that difficult to put on, which I'm very happy about, obviously. And I put uh, mascara on, obviously liner, and in my waterline, I have the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Intense Teal. It is a little teal, a little blue-green, but this is the closest I got, so this is what I'm going with. I think it looks good anyway. Okay, let's go into the blush. I'm super excited. I already have on bronzer and all of that, so I'm just gonna take my big fluffy blush brush. I got this in a BoxyCharm like five years ago. It is from Aesthetica. It is the P12. And I'm just gonna pop in, let's apply this. Okay, it's not super pigmented, so let me grab some more. It's very lightly pigmented. It is pretty though. Pretty, pretty, but definitely very lightly pigmented. So just be aware of that. Listen, it's times like this where I am so thankful when I do like my little declutters and I'm decluttering my lip liner drawer and I save this hot pink just being like, just in case, what if I need a hot pink once a year? I needed it today, so I'm glad I kept it. So this, by the way, this lip liner is from the e.l.f. Retro Paradise collection from three years ago. And now we're gonna go in with the lipstick. Again, the packaging is just adorable. It did feel like when I swatched it, more of like a satin lipstick, so not matte, but not super shiny either. But let's see. Yeah, formula is, feels really nice. This color is a lot. It's a nice formula though, actually. And it's opaque. I like it. And now we're gonna pop on the gloss on top just for funsies. It has a slight scent. Like if I get really close without getting it on my nose. I can taste the strawberry now that's on my lips. But it's very subtle. Pretty. Formula feels really nice, doesn't feel sticky. Feels quite glidey. I'd be interested to use this like on its own. I'm gonna do that right now, but this is what it looks like together. I'm gonna take this off and I just wanna use this by itself, just out of curiosity. A few moments later. All right, so I took off the lipstick and I just relined just the outer part of my lips. So I wanna go in with just the gloss and see what it looks like on its own. That's really pretty. So this is kind of one of those ones, it's it's tinted, 
So I don't know that I would wear just the lip liner on the outside. Like I would prefer to just fill my lips in with the lip liner and then layer this over or over the lipstick or completely on its own. Like it just looks funny with the lip line, but it's okay. We're going with it. <laughs> so that's it. What do you think? I think this is a really cute collection. I think it's really good. Let me just give you my first impression thoughts overall, starting with the palette. The palette, the mattes that I used were very pigmented, very, very, very pigmented. So I think if you're like a brand new beginner to makeup, this might not be like the best eyeshadow formula, but if you like pigmented eyeshadows, I think you would like this. Again, I haven't used all the shades. I always do a palette ranking video every month. Once I've tested palettes enough to give like a full review, I end up ranking them and reviewing them. So stay tuned for this at the end of the month once I've used it a little more. The shimmers that I used are super pretty, especially that sparkly one on my lid. But of course, you definitely wanna either wet your brush, do your eyes first, or use a glitter primer. Uh, the blush, so I think it's really cute. I love the embossing on the pan, but this is very lightly pigmented. If you have like a medium to deep skin tone, you're probably gonna have to layer this up a lot for it to show up. Cause I had to put like three layers on just to get this amount of color, which is pr like, it's pretty once it's on. It's definitely a matte formula. There's no shimmer or anything in it, which I like. So that's really pretty. The lashes are definitely dramatic. They're not overly dramatic, like they don't feel heavy or anything on the eyes, but they definitely give a very big amount of curl and length and fluffiness. They weren't hard to put on, which is nice. And then the lip kit is really cute. I mean, this lipstick color is kind of not a color I would go for normally, but the formula feels really nice. So if you like this color, I think you would like it. And then the gloss feels very comfortable, very nice. I like that it has a slight tint to it. I would probably layer this over a lip liner or a lipstick just because it's, it's jelly. So it's like tinted but see-through. But it has a pleasant smell. It's not overly scented, but it definitely has a little strawberry smell, which I like. I didn't even put on an inner corner highlight. What is wrong with me? There isn't really one for me in this palette. I mean, no, none of these are light enough. So I have to go put on an inner corner highlight. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flip Flop as my inner corner and as my highlight because I didn't put a highlight on either. What is wrong with me today? Listen, I'm just getting back into filming from being sick, so. I'm driving the struggle bus today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you pick this up? Did you wanna pick it up, but you skipped out on it? Are you a strawberry shortcake fan? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I love hearing from you. This past year has been such an awesome year for me and I'm so excited for 2023 and I'm wishing all of you the best year ever, health, happiness, all of that. So thank you so much if you are new or if you've been around all year last year for your support. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.